everyone and welcome. Today I'm working with the Spellbinders Checkered Scallops Embossing Folder and the Dahlia and Ladybug Dies from the Birds and the Bee set. This is an older um, die set from uh, last season and it was really rainy today and I just wanted to do a floral card. And this one is a lot of layering. So I'm just going to bring in all my scrap white um, cardstock, hammer mill cardstock, and I'm going to do some die cutting. And I will just keep doing this over and over until I get them all ready. Now each die tells you how many times you need to die cut this out for one flower. And I'm just following the guideline for that. And I'm just going to continue die cutting and getting all of my pieces ready. And then I'll be back with all my pieces. And here we are. I brought in my waffle flower stencil mat and I'm just going to lay these down here and I'm going to ink them up. I'm starting with the largest petal. I've got them all organized by size and I'm going to start, actually I'm going to start with leaves and I'm just going to take my um, blending brush and I'm just going to blend these leaves both front and back and I'll use two different colors on this. Now I'm blending front and back because I'm going to curl um, all of this and so some of the underneath may be showing and so I'm just going to make sure that I get both sides covered and I'm using, I think that's, um, I want to say chip sapphire and I'm and mowed lawn is the second color that I'm using and I'm just going to add some dimension by adding a second um, bit of color to the leaves as well. These leaves are fairly plain. Um, they're pretty flat, and so I'll add some additional dimension later on in the video to them. But I'm just going to flip them all over and then just add some color to the back. That way, if I do curl them up, you won't see a white panel. And I just brought in that waffle flower stencil guide because I thought I could just kind of hold those things in place as I'm blending them. Now I've used that green, so I'm going to have to get it cleaned off so that I can move into my other colors. Now this is where I'm going to move into the flowers. And I'm going to do three of each. And you have actually three layers of each size on each flower. So these are quite, there are a lot of layers on, the, on these flowers. So I've got my pink blending brush and I'm just cleaning it off and I'm using it using I'm starting with my spun sugar and I'm doing a very light covering of this because I want my flower to go from light to dark as we get into the middle of it now here this one I had a little trouble die cutting it so I was just um, cutting out a piece that I missed and so same thing I'm going to flip them all over and I'm going to um, blend them as well now I will do this with all of the layers um, and I'll go from light to dark and I think I'll just play some music while I'm finishing this up.
Okay, so that finishes up our ink blending. I put yellow on the very inside of the um, flowers, and now I'm just going to get to assembling. I'm just going to assemble one on camera because it does take quite a long while. And what I'm doing is I'm curling each and every leaf on this flower and there are just multiple layers. So I wanted to keep at least one end to show you how you do it. Now I have done a video with this die set before on my channel. Um, one, maybe even two of them. But I've not um, ink blended my floral before. I've just used colored cardstock and that is certainly easier. But I wanted to have my flowers go from light to dark and just kind of have a a, uh, I don't know, gradation of color, gradation of color. And so I thought I would just do this, and that's why I started with light pink, and then I went a little bit heavier handed and got a little bit darker pink, and then went to the purple, and then I added the yellow for the, I don't know, is that a stamen that's on the inside of the flower? Anyway, um, so I'm just curling all of these, and I'm just going to continue to layer it up, and it will get really tight. I mean, you'll just keep layering and layering, and it will get a and turn into a very tight flower, just like a dahlia would be. And I'm just curling it. You could use a twilling, a quilling uh, tool if you had it. I don't. I'm just using my um, Cricut tweezers and just kind of folding it around that straight edge of that tweezer and getting them all curled up, and then just laying them down in the center, trying to offset it with the previous um, layer of floral so that they're um, you know kind of offset and just turning it as we go and I'm just going to keep going until we get all of them layered up and then that final layer that is a yellow um, will we'll, uh, twill that up pretty tight and put it in the very center and I think this um, achieve the look that I was wanting to to try and achieve. Now this is wildly dimensional. Um, it will not fit in an envelope. You'll need some kind of a box or something like that because this is very, very dimensional. It pops up off of your card really far. So you'll need some type of a little card box to put it in. Or you can just slide it into a gift bag or, or a gift and without an envelope. So I'm getting the purple ones, and I'm just going to get them curled up. So I'm just continuing to add layers. Now, what I do on this one normally is I will uh, spin this around, um, wrap it up really tight, and then I'll put it in the center of the last one, stick it down in there, pull the, lead, the petals up on it, and then just shove it down into the center, and you've got a good, nice, tight flower. So this is what it looks like, and it's really pretty. Now I need to do three more. I did the three off camera, and I've, I'm showing you the dimension there. And you've got some little ladybugs that come with this set too, but I'm not using them. And then we've got the leaves, and I there's just so much dimension to those flowers. I just feel like those leaves just fall short of it. So I'm just taking a tri-blend marker, and I'm adding some uh, dimension to the leaves just by um, kind of doing some flicking there. And I don't like it at first, and I think, well, I'll just do some of them, and then we'll go from there or whatever. But then I decide I'm going to use my mid-tone and then my light, and then I really like it. And so then I just keep going, and I do all of the leaves with the flicking motion, and it gives me some good dimension on there, and I like the way it looks better. So we'll just get all these leaves done. And I won't use all of them. I'll use most of them, I think, but... And I'm just kind of taking turns, doing the darkest, then I go to the medium, and then I go to the light. And just kind of doing a few at a time. I think I did it that way because I didn't think I was going to use them all. But as I was sitting there, I thought I'll just keep going. So I just kept going until I got all the leaves done. Now, I didn't have a video yesterday on my channel because, or today, well, it'll be yesterday. Um, because I, I got the stomach bug and I was just out. I was out um, most of Tuesday evening and all of Wednesday. I was just not functional. And so I 
got to feeling a little bit better and I thought I'll go ahead and make a card. And this one was one that required a lot of just kind of sitting there and and um, messing with it. So that kind of worked out well. And I'm just going to take my embossed panel and I'm going to lay it down on this Spellbinders cardstock. And I'm going to use the Spellbinders for my card base. I don't normally use a colored card base, but I've done it a couple times recently and I thought, well, I'll just do it again. So I'm going to lay my flowers down there and figure out exactly where I want them. And I'm curling my leaves and getting them ready so that I can um, position them as well. And I'm going to bring in this Hello Friends sentiment. I had um, stamped and die cut a bunch of these out the other day, and so I had them handy, and I thought I would just use this Hello Friends sentiment on there since it was handy, and the purple matched my cardstock, so I thought it would work out well. And then I'm gonna add plenty of glue to this flower, because we've got an embossed panel underneath it, and I really need it to stick. And it, you'll see it will move around a little bit on me, and I'll have to kind of press down a little bit more to get them to where they're, um, you know, stuck. And now I'm just going to tuck some leaves in where I want it to kind of fill in the white spaces on my card. And I think the leaves really add to it. And I'll just keep tucking the leaves until I get to where I'm satisfied with them and feel like they um, look like they're evenly spaced. And I just checked, I did check on the Spellbinder site, and this die set is still available. And um, it just really packs a lot of punch, so you might check it out. I'll link all the materials in the description box below so you can check it out. And if you'll shop with my links, it'll help provide me a small commission, and which helps me to continue providing content to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>